For a moment, let's forget that Level 5 has ceased its international releases, causing the worlds of Komasan, Don Paolo, Achilles, and others to be halted, if not cancelled, for Americans like myself and many others. I might never get to play Yokai Watch 4, or Inazuma 11 Ares, but you know what I played a ton of? Professor Layton. Oh, I've played some Professor Layton. Some video essayists would pause the video here to go on at length about the history of the series, random sales numbers and ratings you don't care about, and expound indefinitely about how cool the world of Layton is. Yeah, those games are cool. But you wouldn't have clicked on this video if you didn't know that already. So I'm just going to cut to the chase here. I was looking at some Layton game covers online and noticed that, much like the case with American Kirby, Layton box art can vary between nations. America got this one, while Japan got this one. The amount that each box art changes by region varies between entirely different and hardly noticeable. But anyway, let's check these things out. The first game in the series, Professor Layton and the Curious Village, had two different types of cover. The first is what I would call the poster style, and the second is what I would call the window style. Many of the games in the Layton series follow these two themes for the box art, and I typically prefer the poster style. That's not a hard rule, but it's definitely the case with the case here. The Japanese one looks like a cool movie poster, with the uniquely designed cast showcased behind the boys, and the American one has a slightly different angle, with the village being zoomed out a bit, giving the impression that you'll get lost in Saint Mystere while solving mysteries with Leighton. They're both better to me than the window-style European cover. The series has a strong style, and just throwing this Leighton hat logo over everything and hiding the distinct art and characters within the game is just a tone-deaf idea that led to bland box art. Asia and America got very similar box art for Diabolical Box, and the puzzle previews on the US version don't really detract from the art, but side note for a second, a lot of Leighton games do this thing where the puzzles are shown on the cover, but I think this is best saved for the back of the box. I like the puzzles, but I feel like most people play these games for the characters, stories, and atmosphere. Overall, the two boxes are pretty much the same, but I like how the castle isn't fully shown in the American version, leading one to believe that it might be some endless labyrinthian fortress, since you can't see the left side of it. You can't tell where it ends. Even though Layton 2 had similar box art for every region, the window style of cover returned again for Europe's version, called Pandora's Box. Pandora's Box's cover has so many issues compared to the other two box arts. The art was made tiny to fit within the Pandora's Box themed window, which has its own sub-issues when considering that it isn't even on model with the box from the game, and removes Anton, the primary antagonist, from the art as well. Even worse is the fact that the in-game Pandora's Box, on the top left of the box art, next to the logo, is clearly not the one serving as a window. It's weird. Professor Layton and the Unwound Futures American and Japanese box art are practically the same again. You'll never get me to like the puzzles on the front, just like I'll never really like the window style. But they are most of the gameplay, so I get why they're there. Due to the smaller title on the Japanese one, it shows more of the time machine. So unless you're looking closely, the American one just kind of looks like some big machinery with no obvious purpose. The European one throws the machine away entirely in favor of using the dang window style again. But unlike most of the other windows, I don't completely hate this one. The fact that Luke and Leighton are trapped behind the clock face kind of gives me the idea that they are trapped in time, which is pretty much the premise of the whole game. It also shows an older Luke on the top left, which is absent from the other two covers. It's kind of a spoiler, but I have this weird feeling that many people didn't even notice it was an older Luke at first. Then again, I don't live in Europe, so I have no basis for that theory. Did you play the European version of Lost Future? Let me know if you noticed an older Luke before playing the game. I'm genuinely curious because I saw this cover multiple times online before realizing that the older Luke was there. After giving all that info, you might be wondering which version of each game cover I like the most. And I definitely have some quick opinions on that subject. Ready? Curious Village. In a perfect world, the crowd of villagers from the Japanese cover would be on the American cover as well, making the perfect combo of zoomed out Saint Mystere from the US and a crowd of randos from Japan. This is not the case though, so I have to give it to the Japanese version for filling in more space and showing more characters. Diabolical Box. It's the Japanese cover all day. 
You can't see Anton as well in either of the other versions, and I like Anton. Check out this sword fight. If I had to make an adjustment to this one, I would want Anton's sky apparition to scoot a little bit to the left, like in the American box art, but it's really not a deal breaker. Unwound Future. Japan wins again, boys. Get that European one out of here. The more time machine I can see, the better. I wouldn't even want to change it at all. Japanese Unwound Future is practically perfect. So, that's it for this episode of Professor Layton and the Incongruent Cases. Next time, I'll cover the prequels and spin-offs. If you're interested in more of this short series on Layton box art, stick around, because the next video will be out soon. This has been Molten Permit, and you've been a great audience. And for puzzles sake, please put Layton in Smash.